Investigate the investigators. Uh, let's see what happens. That's going to be very interesting. Well, I think there were a lot of breakings of the law. It was investigate the investigators. So based on everything I read this morning, that's what they're doing. And don't forget, there's another big investigation going on. And that's the real, that's the real deal. That's investigate the investigators. And uh, that's going to come out. The IG report is coming out very soon against these people. And I think it's going to be, uh, we're going to learn a lot. But, but Well, since last year, the Justice Department has been investigating the investigators who, at the FBI, at the FBI, who first looked into actually Russian interference in the 2016 election. On Monday, the department's inspector general will actually release his findings to the public. Devlin Barrett covers national security for The Washington Post, and he joins me now from their okay. newsroom. So, Devlin, first, can you sort of explain what exactly is being investigated here? So, the Justice Department Inspector General is looking at how the FBI began and conducted its investigation into uh, people associated with Donald Trump during the campaign and after the campaign. So, what are you hearing about what this report on Monday will actually show? Well, it's going to be a big report. It's hundreds of pages, and there is definitely going to be uh, things that they found that are bad for the FBI, including that one FBI lawyer allegedly altered a document after the fact involving uh, the justification for a surveillance order. That's, that's a big deal, and that's a big black eye for the FBI. However, we're also told that they did not find evidence of a lot of what the president talks about, which is this notion of some sort of FBI coup or cabal of, of senior officials trying to just take him down at any cost. Uh, that, that, as has been described to us, that is not part of the inspector general's findings. Mm. So earlier this week, Devlin, you actually reported that the attorney general, William Barr, told associates he disagreed with one of the key findings of this report. What exactly is he disputing? So a key question for the inspector general has been, when this investigation was formally opened in late July of 2016, did they have what investigators call a predicate, which means uh, a valid reason, a valid uh, allegation that justified opening a case like this? And the inspector general, we're told, has concluded that was a valid predicate, that was a valid reason to open that investigation. Barr, however, we're told, disagrees with that and says there's has been saying internally there's things that the inspector general has doesn't know yet doesn't have access to yet that could change that judgment and so Barr wants a different investigator to pursue those questions mm. on Wednesday you also reported Barr's hand-picked prosecutor US Attorney John Durham told the inspector general he didn't actually agree with the theory that the Russia case was a setup how significant is that Devlin well, it's significant because it's about a very particular piece at the early, at the very outset of this investigation. And that's a, a very murky professor from Malta named Joseph Mifsud. And whether or not, uh, you know, a lot of Trump's defenders have argued that he may be a CIA intelligence plant who sort of set this whole thing in motion as, as, a, as, a, as a con, more or less. And what we're told is that Durham, the, the hand-picked investigator, has looked into that and has not found anything to suggest that Mifsud is a CIA intelligence mm. asset. Now that doesn't kill every conspiracy theory out there, that doesn't kill every criticism that conservatives have toward the FBI, but that does undercut a, a real big point that conservatives have been raising about the, the very early days of this investigation. You know, earlier, President Trump this week said that while the IG report is important, he seems to be more interested in what Durham will actually have to report. I want to play for you what he said. I do think the big report to wait for is going to be the Durham report. That's the one that people are really waiting for. And he's highly respected. And uh, we're, and he's worked very hard, and he's worked uh, long hours, I can tell you, and gone all over the world. So we'll see. But the Durham report is a report people are really uh, looking forward to. But this is a Why is the president more interested in the Durham report? Because Durham has the ability to bring charges, in theory. And frankly, I think the notion that the inspector general report may not do Everything that the president once hoped it would do is it seems to become more and more real every day. And I, so I think now the president is reaching for another future development that he thinks will justify all of his criticism of the FBI. Devlin Barrett from The Washington Post. Devlin, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.